what is going on guys i'm back with you with another video um i believe in my own opinion this is one topic that every car enthusiast or anyone in that nature should own or should have not as much as most people but you should still own a little bit of some of the stuff i'm about to show you and let's get into this video guys welcome back um as you see in front of us is some of just part of my car detailing arsenal and i got it kind of categorized in certain things these are my quick detail sprays and clay and my clay bars starting off we have chemical guys v07 optical hybrid spray sealant this stuff is amazing it's got a great um, scent to it it works real well how i use that this chemical right here is um after i get done washing my truck or any vehicle i will spray that down to make kind of like a bead repellent to help the drying process then i have some of this rust-oleum factor four instant detailer i haven't yet used this it comes in a pack of some other goodies that i'm waiting to use on a little bit nicer day so i don't have to wash my truck like every other day with this wintry kind of spring rains then we have chemical guys synthetic quick deal um, detailer this is basically the same as this rust-oleum here it's its main purpose is just a quick wipe down after like waxing and polishing and sealants this is some pretty good i'm actually on my like third jug of this pretty good stuff then I have some Mother's Instant Detailer. I, I use this when I, I clay, because that's where I buy my clay bars through, it's through Mother's, and when you buy clay bars, you get a bottle of Instant Detailer. Then, this is a new product for me. It's some it's iron removing spray clay. It works as a, like a fallout remover. How you can use it on paint or your wheels it is as far as i know it's pretty safe i haven't really tried it but i'll let y'all know let's go on to the next category this category is my wash and waxes we'll start off with the chemical guys waterless car wash i bring this in my truck if i'm going out and i will just want to have a quick once over, you know, if I'm going to a car show or whatever, I'll spray this over my truck and use a microfiber towel to wipe off. And this this is some pretty good stuff. It's got some glance enhancers in it. Gloss enhancers, not glance, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is some... I haven't really dealt with any other waterless car washes other than the chemical guys. Because that's just one thing we can get here local. Next will be we'll start with the spray wax. This is kind of similar to the wireless car wash. You just spray it on and wipe it off. Then we'll go. We'll start with all the squ squirt bottles first. This is my total interior. This is kind of like the silk dry the silk shine dressing. It's got some of the protection also in it, but I I use this. For actually my rubber floor mats in my truck. This stuff works pretty good. You get those things nice and clean. Then I have some leather cleaner. I have a leather wrap steering wheel and a leather center console. I like to keep those things pretty clean. So that's why I use the Chemical Guys leather cleaner. And then Diablo wheel cleaner. This is some... Pretty good stuff. It's got a nice scent to it. I believe it is a cherry scent. 
then next thing will be the rust-oleum synthetic wax you you wash wax kind of simple I'll do a review on this when I use it then next is butter wet wax this is um this is the only wax I've ever used so I don't really I can't say this is the best but this is what I have this is what I can get my hands on that's kind of premium so I don't have to order it offline majority of this stuff I don't I didn't order offline I go to my local Walmart and auto parts stores and they, they're starting to carry more chemical guys products which in my mind that's what I would like to stick with but if there's a better product out there I'm gonna try it and if I like it I'm gonna stick with it as of right now all these products I've used or majority of them I've used I, I pretty I like pretty much this is the snow foam auto wash also by chemical guys um, I just got the watermelon scent this is what they had in stores and I grabbed it um, I like I said this is the snow foam so I put it in my snow or my foam cannon hook it to the pressure washer give it a good foaming then I have my extreme body wash and wax this is just a, a maintenance wash for me I will usually use this to, uh, in between my details I'll use the extreme body and wax Mr. Pink I actually use this on my wheels with the Diablo wheel gel or the wheel cleaner. This is what I'll put in my bucket to get the foam in the bucket. And this is a new product I've just picked up, which is the citrus washing gloss. Um, I just washed my truck with this, so hopefully the, uh, it'll make my truck look pretty good. It got it kind of got dark on me before I can get any good pictures of it, so that's the wash and wax and, and cleaners let's get on to the next category all right i forgot to mention in my wash and wax um i do use i do try to clean my get my windows pretty clean so on the interior side i use the invisible glass this is a an ammonia free so it's safe for tint and then i use on the exterior I use this Rain-X glass cleaner and rain protectant or rain repellent in one. And this, this is just some JDM air freshener. I really didn't have a, a category to throw this in, so I just threw it in the wash and wax. So let's go on to the next category, guys. This next category is all my dressings for tires and trim. Starting off, we have our Silk Shine Dressing by Chemical Guys. This is, by hands down, some of the best, in my opinion, stuff you can put on your tires. Um, interior vinyl, some plastics. It works real good. Then we have Tire Kicker Tire Shine, also by Chemical Guys. I, I'm not a real fan of this. Um, I have big knobby tires on my truck. And I prefer an aerosol over just a spray, something you put on with a tire applicator. Um, so I'm not really a big fan of the, like, the mist on stuff. Um, so next is, like I said, is the aerosol. Nice and wet. You can apply that after you wash and do all your process. You can apply that to your tires. To have a real wet, like um, almost like a petroleum based tire dressing. But I do believe this is water based, if I'm not mistaking. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's petroleum based. Either way, this stuff right here. If you put it on, let it sit for a little bit, and you don't like the real wet look, you can always use a microfiber towel to wipe it down. So, you don't have as wet as a look. You'll have more of a matte or a satin finish 
It all depends on what do you like, how your tires look, and all like that. So, this is my trim and tire dressing category. Let's get on to the next one. Alright guys, this next category is my wash mats and brushes. And we'll start off with the Chemical Guys wash mat. Um... I have two different wash mats. I'm running a load of microfiber towels in the wash machine right now so I can make this video. I, I've actually run out of drying towels so I've had to wash a couple of them to put in this video. But I have this one by Chemical Guys. Then I've also have a Pro Elite. I think that is a advanced brand. So I'll, I like to... Um, I really don't like to shop online but i hopefully here in the future i'll buy some stuff offline this is my applicator for my um, wax it's got a real nice foam portion and a more sturdier for your hand next are my brushes let's get into these little things um these are great for getting in the hard to reach places I use these around my lug nuts and around truck emblems and air vents and interiors and these these things are just so handy to have. Next, I just I don't go out and buy a Pacific brush for my tires because I go through them pretty regularly. I just go to the Dollar Tree and buy a cheap scrubber that's pretty stiff. So there's that. And then this is probably one of my newest additions. It's just a long, I really don't know what it's called, but I've seen a couple of them on YouTube, and they, it seems to do the job. It's, I know it's for cleaning tires or you, your barrels of your wheels. Then I have another foam. It's real soft, pretty good microfiber on the outside. And this is also for cleaning your um tires and rims then i have a real soft um bristle brush to cleaning the face of the wheels and you can also use it i have carpet fender inner fender liners and i'll use this to scrub my fender liners when i spray like all-purpose cleaner on it or some type of cleaner to get all the mud and gunk off of it and this is my these are all my brushes i have more but these are just ones I, I grabbed for this video all right guys this last category is my microfiber towels um starting off with my cleaner i do use a cleaner made to, for microfiber towels to wash my towels i have these two microfiber um applicators sorry um blue and green i try to keep up um green is for paint blue is for windows then i have this soft um chanel wash mitt i use for like i said blue is for windows and i have a green one i use for my paint i have this it's plush on both sides. I don't remember the direct model. I, got, I buy a bunch of my stuff, like I said, from parts stores. So it is a Pro Elite. And it's silk lined. And it's plush on both sides. I use this for quick detailing sprays, waterless car washes, and to buff off my wax and sealants. This one right here is a more coarse. And it's got a more plush on the other opposite side. And it's silk lined. And it's also a Pro Elite. Then I have this one right here, which is a, <clears throat> sorry, a dusting towel from Walmart. It is the Platinum, <clears throat> sorry guys, it is the Platinum brand from Walmart. And I have, this is also another Platinum. I, like I said, I try to color coordinate. So blue is for windows, yellow is for tires, and these are interior towels i try to keep gray interior here is a polishing towel but it makes a real great window cleaning towel i try to this is a interior window cleaning 
towel and this is my exterior window cleaning towel it's a more coarse towel silk lined paint and wheels and tires this is one of my many drying towels i have this waffle weave here it is a pro elite um at autozone or uh, part stores well should carry this brand i do believe and this last one right here is a real plush it is the platinum series from walmart and this tops all the categories i do believe um i'm not going to try to <laughs> link everything in the description if y'all want to know where i got most of the stuff i'll try to go back and see where i bought it i try to keep up with all my receipts for so i know how much i'm spending on chemicals and towels so i know how much to charge people um but yeah if y'all let's turn this camera around but yeah if y'all like this video make sure y'all subscribe like comment on other videos you want me to do i'm gonna be doing a car detailing video here soon hopefully in the next month when the weather warms up a little bit and i can break out the pressure washer i've just been using um having crawling under the house and turn the water off and all and that kind of gets kind of tiring and i don't want to drag out the pressure washer and have to winterize it again because it's still getting in the low 30s here and uh so maybe in the next month or so i'll be doing a truck detailing of how i wash my truck if i don't keep it washed on a i try to wash my truck twice every two weeks um to keep it looking pristine i work um, around people so my truck is right at the front gate and now i don't want to um make the company mad by showing up in a dirty kind of unprofessional vehicle um so yeah like i said if you like this video make sure y'all like subscribe comment wouldn't hurt and y'all have a good one